Welcome to my channel. Please like and subscribe and share with your friends. Today I am redoing a pair of suede shoes and what I'm doing is these had this bow tied across them and they're also glued on the sides and down into the sole itself and so I am just using a seam ripper and pulling the stitching out and then trying to figure out how I'm going to get this glue off the side of the shoe. So I decided to grab my box cutter and just very carefully kind of slice the fabric and the glue, not slicing into the shoe itself. And this actually worked fairly well. Now when I got these off the shoes, there is some glue residue and the backing of the blue fabric from the bow that is stuck to the shoe, and I'll show you in just a minute how I'm going to remove that. I'm going to be using a 100 grit piece of sandpaper. And of course you can see this one has been used, but I am just going to fold it up and then I'm going to carefully sand, trying not to sand into the shoe itself. And I did have to do this probably for about five to seven minutes. Now that all that is cleaned up and taken care of, I'm going to be mixing up a cognac paint. This one is oxide red and it came from the Dollar Tree from their craft corner section. And this one is, I believe, Apple Barrel, and it is, yes, it is called Hazelnut Brown. And I'm going to add a little bit of that. And then I'm actually going to mix between every color that I add because I want to make sure that the base color that I'm working with is where I need it to be before I add my next color. Now I decided to go ahead and add in just a touch of black so I don't have a bright red looking shoe. And here it's looking pretty good but it's still a little too much on the red side. And so that how I'm gonna to tone that down is I'm going to be adding some apricot yellow. And this one is also Apple Barrel. And I'll try to link the paints down below. And this is where we're gonna get our beautiful cognac color after adding this yellow. And you wanna make sure that you mix your paint really well. You want to try not to have any streaks or anything in it. Now once we have this mixed up, I'm testing it on my paper towel, we're going to be adding a little bit of water. We want our paint fairly thin, but not so thin that it runs off the shoe.
if I were to just use the paint without thinning it with water, the paint would be really stiff on the shoes and we don't want that. We are basically making a shoe stain by adding the water and that will keep our shoes soft and pliable. As you can see now, after adding my water, it's pretty thin. I'm also using a very soft brush. Now that I have that mixed, we're going to start painting our shoe. This paint mixture applies very easily to suede shoes. And I do have a damp rag on hand just to clean up the sole because I didn't tape them off. I was afraid that I might have paint actually run under the tape and I didn't want that. And you want to make sure you take your time when painting these because you don't want to make a big mess. You know, it's okay if you have a little bit that you need to clean up with your rag or your fingernail, but you don't want to get paint all over the soles of your shoes. And this is just the first coat of paint that I'm doing. I will be going back later and putting on a second coat of paint. This was such a satisfying process.
After I let the shoes completely dry, I'm going to add a second coat and that is going to fill in all the little textured holes that are in these shoes where you can see the green fabric underneath. After putting two coats on each shoe and I let them dry completely, I went back with my damp rag and just kind of cleaned up the soles a little bit. You could probably use a Q-tip and alcohol, but this worked fine for me. And then I went ahead and taped off around the edge of the soles with some masking tape. And I would suggest you use painter's tape because this is duck brand masking tape, but it did not want to stick to the rubber soles on these shoes. I finally got it to work good enough, but it kept wanting to pop off. And now I'm going to take some satin finished polyurethane and just put a very light coat of spray. And this is just to kind of help ensure um, it's weatherproofing. And here we have a beautiful pair of cognac shoes. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, have a blessed day, and please come back and see me.